very important to maintain this art uh, for the future because it belongs to a legacy that we are responsible to keep throughout the generations. Sardines in Portugal are part of our culture. Conservador de Lisboa, it's a canned fish shop. We sell all kinds of canned fish since 1930. It's a family-run business. I'm the third generation taking care of it. We have clients that come back after like 20 years saying, I loved it and I still have the taste in my mouth of that thing. The Tin Sardines started uh, to become a fashion, started to become an icon because it was a, an easy way that people that would start to know Portugal would bring to their home countries a little bit of the flavors. The French started with preserving the fish in, in camps. Napoleon wanted to supply the, the warfare outside of France. It needed a solution, and the solution was the preserves. By the late 19th century, some companies in Portugal started doing the same. The First and the Second World War were very important moments for the development of the, the canning industry, especially in Portugal, uh, because on one side we had uh, direct access to high quality uh, fish in our, our Atlantic coast and at the same time we had the, the artisanal and the manual expertise necessary to develop the, the transforming industry of canning. For a very long time it was the only way to get fish to the interior of the country. Our roads were terrible and it kind of like went down a bit, a bit, no, a lot because of frozen fish. Frozen, priced low. The fillets are shipped to inland markets. Refrigerators started to go to the home of people. People kind of rele relegated like canning and the canned fish to like a lower quality stuff, but it never lost its quality and it never lost its ability to be a, a very healthy food and, and, and all of that. In the 80s, things start to pick up again. And here we are, in a very good time for canning. People are interested, people like it. There is a return of kitsch <laughs> and vintage. There are many differences between an industrial uh, kind of canning facility and an artisanal facility li like ours. We still remain with 30, uh, 37 uh, individual steps before the, the, the can is closed. We have our own workers down at the harbor selecting the fish by themselves. When the, the fish arrives at the factory, starts the other selection process. Each sardine is handled one by one. So every fish is cooked one by one separately. We leave it for 15 minutes to dry so it's on the perfect stage to be handled, cut, adjust and can. Our lovely ladies, they do the wrapping like it's a gift. It's a matter of philosophy. It's a matter of heritage, it's a matter of uh, regional culture that we want to, to keep alive. If it's lost, it's lost forever. Thank you.